goes down. If Young goes down, that is a wide door open. Oh my, oh my. I'm excited to see this one. What I'm really excited to see is if maybe F7 changes up their game plan here. The line for the bus, much further away from that desert than ever previous before. But I do see a green team heading over to Rocky Reels, and I'm wondering if that is the F7 squad, or if maybe we're going to see them go somewhere else. For right now, let's focus on Cholio and Simply here, who have joined in for this Greasy Grove battle here. This is three squads le landing in one single POI. This could get oh, spicy baby. off the bat, Grant. <laughs> Oh, I'm hoping for a Kraken home run in a second. Already the gunfire begins. It's Bump oh. and Matrix. Oh, I don't think Joelio saw that one on the left side. They see a head peeking over. They might sense the gunfire from their teammate, indicating some danger. Sizz, all alone, question mark? Heading upstairs to take on Simply. Might be able to get them. Cholio gonna have to bail them out, but instead they'll take shots on the team across the street. It'll go simply down, trying to rescue them in time. Gets in to invade, but Sis will take down Cholio. And that's unfortunate for them, but Sis already starting off the game hot with the first elims of two in the game. And that's big for them. Getting themselves some early elims are going to add some extra points onto their tally and make sure that they have the best chance possible to secure second or third place. They might be able to further secure it if they can go after this next team as well. They know they're in this mart here. They know that they've got a chance. The taco shot about to get spicier than the hot sauce inside. Can Sizz find this opponent? Oh, he's going down. He's going the wrong way. No, Sizz, they're above you. And he realizes this now. Unfortunate timing, but he is still not going to stop with the aggression. Oh, certainly not. He's keeping those ears peeled. Yes, that's a weird analogy, but don't worry about it. It'll all work out for Sizz in the end. Nope, now looking to break in the wall. John Matrix sees it happening. I don't know who got a control of that, but I think it wasn't Sizz. They tried to hit it, bailed out. Shots coming at them. Buff and their teammate looking to do some damage. Now working their way over on the other side, throwing off some audible cues that might be able to throw them off. Oh, they're really wondering where this approach is going to come from. And what I'm also wondering is where on earth is F Whip here? This is basically by themselves. <gasps> but, but they're going to force a 1v1. They win the first one. Can they win the second? Shot on target. They've got them low. They need one more and they can send them packing. And Sis will complete the 2v1. Literally got 12 health grant. All they need is one good shot. And there it is. The one pump will send them packing for the final time tonight and Sizz already drops a four bomb within the first circle hotter than the hot sauce packets in that taco mart for sure my lord that was incredible play a 1v2 bested by Sizz and f with my gosh they've got four eliminations and i think that, i mean that's really the only eliminations that have happened at least the most in the elimination now we're chilling over here we're having a dance party i'm all for it uh, you've seen this a couple of times. Every once in a while, you find the team that is just passive beyond compare. They're going to hide. They're going to play a little bit of hide and seek until eventually someone pops up on them. So maybe let's focus on the teams that are still getting into some fights here. May has already picked up themselves an elimination, and Gavenchi has unfortunately picked themselves up some damage. So I have a feeling that Sanctuary's got a couple of teams that are ready to fight. Maybe not. Maybe it's just the AI around them. We could have already missed the fight, unfortunately, Grant. Yeah, it's, it's sad, but hey... I mean, this this is familiar territory. Every single round, these guys have landed here. Givenchy and May 7 yep. are always going for that mythic MK7. And I mean, why not? Again, May 7, <laughs> MK7. I mean, really, there's there's no other option. When you are when you're nearly named, or having a gun named after you, or being named after a gun. I mean, you kind of got to go for it. It's at this point a meme. All right, well, at this point, I have to imagine that the meme is not necessarily going to get stale here, but it is going to be something that we just kind of have to hope that that team gets a little bit more aggressive. They are currently, I believe, in third place, but here's a team that I think is starting to move themselves into second place here. f and Sizz, if I'm not mistaken, were at 79 points. They were just behind that third place team, and while they were competing for third place initially, getting four eliminations off the bat has now set them up to possibly go even further. Where exactly is... Whoa. Oh, F-Wiv actually got eliminated. When did that happen? 
Uh, I'm not sure, but I'm a little more confused as to how that car was actually being a boat for a minute. <laughs> um, not not going to think too much on it. I uh, guess buoyancy uh, doesn't exist in Fortnite uh, when it comes to real life physics, which makes sense because it's a video game. I am now wrapping my head around the current situation developing. But yeah, very interesting that F with went down. I did not see who got the elimination and where it happened at least. Mm. Ooh, yeah, okay. I think they were according, split up. I was going to say, according to our producer, apparently they might have been the team to go out and try and contest F7 early, which is uh, it's a bold <laughs> move. But hey, listen, every once in a while you see these guys who believe they can take down 2v1s in any scenario. This is more a 2v2 that has turned into a 2v1 now as Graz and Michael have found the first elim and they will find the second as well. Down goes the Philly Esports squad and that is massive for that team. Six points for just two Elims. The only two people in the lobby with bounties on their head, meaning that each Elim is going to give you a much better advantage. I'm sure Sizz, though, would have loved to see their hands on that. And this is what we love to see all alone in sleepy sound. And there's going to be a beautiful sound of a honking van as F Whip is coming back to the game, baby. Oh, you love to see it. Well, you love to see it if you are a fan of F Wiv and Sizz. If you're any other team in this lobby, you're going to be a bit bummed that one of the front runners has now returned into the game and is going to get a great loadout off the bat. <laughs> Chili Chug or Chili Chug has been used pretty quickly, so they're only down to two of those. I have a feeling those are not going to be as integral late game here. They're just going to use them to try and squad back up and get ready for whatever fight is inevitably going to come. And they'll look their way around it. Long distance to travel, though. Not too much, though, for this team in Michael and Grads. Again, they each split off that elimination from Philly Esports, giving themselves six points effectively. And you know what? I have a feeling this one was chosen to show us some little, a little bit of nostalgia for the getaway car. It's not, you know, it's not Lego, but, you know, I'm all for it. I'm all for the ride. Hey, listen, we're always along for the ride here, and I think that we're happy to watch it as well. I mean, honestly, th this is just so peaceful. Look at this. Graz and Michael yeah. just slowly chilling. You know, what, what do you think they're talking about right now while they're just kind of vibing in this car? You know, I think they're talking about spiders. You ever thought about, mm. like, spiders in your home? Why they don't report back to their families? Like, oh, they didn't come back. They didn't, you know, they didn't... They, they didn't come back, so let's go investigate. And then that spider dies. Like, wh what in their head is, like you know what like danger you know what i mean like why no, why do they still literally come back not at all no i actually have i'm gonna be honest with you grant uh, I, i'll be honest <laughs> I, I have no idea what you were talking about and quite frankly i don't really want to look into the heads of the players right now i'd rather look inside of your head but we'll do that after the after this event you know we'll look at it in the future because for right now we got to focus on the present and that is michael and Graz. Finally giving us a battle in Tilted Towers. Gucci, if you retreat here, I swear to you, I will be in your Twitter DMs later. <laughs> I hope to see it. You know what? Go ahead, Gucci. Force him out. Call his bluff. But I don't think they are going to be forcing out anything from Bass. In mm -hmm. fact, they'll force out Graf instead. Of oh. Graf. Force out Flare. It goes down. Hello. Gucci coming through, though, looking for that revenge. Well, they won't quite find it. Still, both teammates down. Graf, oh. he wanted to go for the revive, but didn't see them walking out the door. Gucci is looking to take them down, but instead has to focus on Michael here. I wonder if either one of them is going to back off. Graz clearly wants to get revived, and Gucci probably wants to get their teammate up as well, but neither one of these solos is willing to back off entirely. Oh, here comes Gucci again. They're trying to take the high ground, and they'll get some shots in as well. Almost evening out the health. They still have no shields to their name, but Michael has only got 14 to work with here. Is Gucci going to approach again? No, Michael's actually going to gain a little bit of health here, and I think they have finally backed off. Is it time for the revives to happen? I think so. Both teams have decided to go back to full health, and oh, Grant, when these two get back up, this is going to be a battle and a half, and wait a minute, where did Sizz and F7 come from? Hello, what's going on here? It's a 1v1, 2 F7 split up. Sizz might just be a little bit of a solo fighter for now. They've got the high ground, but not. oh, it's now an F7, 2v1, and Sizz has lost their shield, taking a little bit of fall damage too, as Janman in pursuit makes them take more and might just shove a fistful of lead in their face as well. They have fallen down. <laughs> oh, the getaway car though. Janman finds them before they can escape, pins them down, and that is a massive elimination of anybody was to catch up it was that team right there 
Hey, listen, F7, I love what you're doing here. We asked for you guys to go uber aggression. You not only did that, you marched to the very top of Tilted Towers and got in the <laughs> face of your opponent. <gasps> but it could be a mistake. All of a sudden, logic goes down, and now it's up to Jan Man by themselves to try and survive. Like we said, this team is already secured first. They could be playing spoiler to whichever team they take out here. They definitely played spoiler to Sis and F with here, but again, that team is not completely eliminated. I believe that F or that Sis is now going to approach this and maybe try and get their teammate back up. You said it yourself, Bass. If Graz and Michael were able to get that revive and get back up on their feet, this was going to be huge. They carry three eliminations now in the top nine, and they are hunting for kills. They know the chaos that ensued above. F-Wave now forced to be out on their own, and it's been a trade-off. After they got rebooted, they will trade positions with their teammate in Sizz. And of course, that name sticks around. Let's see what kind of damage they can do here. Michael looking around, trying to find something, listening for audio. Graz has not found anything either. In fact, there's gunfire from above. I'm curious to see if that's f with trying to take down F7 in revenge. Actually, they're in pursuit by Graz and Michael. They'll break through a couple of walls, but f with might just be a touch faster until this very moment. Oh. Lots of shots taking on, and that might just be one down. Was that a one pump or a headshot? Had to be something devastating because that was all their health wiped away in an instant. It's not only all their health, it is all of the team. Epwiv and Sizz unfortunately sent Packin back to the lobby. And that will be the end of their day overall. The fate of where they rest at the end of this one is now in the hands of every other player. And really, it's in the hands of everybody battling out here in Tilted. Janman by themselves, Logic has been taken out. And I, listen, I get it. I know why you're playing passive here. You want to grab that reboot card and get your teammate back up, but... You've already secured first. Why not go for a 1v2? I'd like to see it. Clips, get the content. Clip, exactly. Clip, to clip it. Like what if, uh, you know, maybe maybe we should rethink whose DMs we're getting into. And we talk to the mm. F7 lads and say, hey, you need to make more content. You, you're like, yeah, you're doing well. 200 you're, points you're, isn't enough. Not it's, enough. it's really not. I mean, it, it, you need you need content. I mean, we saw teams dancing. We saw getaway vehicles. That's the content. Jan Man and Logic don't know any of that, unfortunately. They're going to listen back to this broadcast later and go, what? It's just kind of like getting super confused. It's a team that's wiped half the lobby at some point, and we're telling them, do some more. Do a little bit more. And uh, Well, I don't really agree with that point, but I will agree with one thing. It has finally paid off. Gavenchi has picked up the mythical M7. This could be something massive for this team if they can use it to their advantage. <gasps> and look who is just over the horizon. It is C4 oh, here baby. lurking next to them, and the team across is iconic and vibes this could turn into a bloodbath very quickly but i think what's gonna happen here is c4 will just stay back and wait for this fight to engage wait for the perfect moment to pounce on their prey kind of like spiders we'll get there eventually but may no. 7 yeah you, know, you know it's fair fair call but like <laughs> fair call gavenchi and the rest of the team they're out of here they're going to dip on now, but I wonder if C4 is going to try and pursue them and possibly overexpose themselves because like we said, Vibes and Iconics are just waiting on the edge. They're looking for any sort of end to that fight. Well, we'll find a new fight instead here. Again, Michael and Graz have been on an absolute tear in this one. They are not shying away from any fight that approaches. And here is why they're getting in good shots, getting in good damage. They can possibly pick up another team yet again. This is a certain possibility. Blair Ooh. goes down courtesy of Michael. Graz still fighting their way through. Gucci down below taking on fire. They've got to escape out of there. Graz and Michael have been this dominant team of round six. They've put their flag in the ground, and now they're looking to put some bullets in the face of their opponent. But Gucci has built up some incredible high ground. But man, oh. oh my goodness, what did Michael just do to that poor man? Oh, one tap to the face. You ask for lead in the face, and unfortunately, they find it immediately afterwards. They can't even blink. Their eyes are full of bullets, and unfortunately, it'll be the last time today. Seven squads left, 13 players alive, and we are still fighting here. And notice who has gotten back up. The F-17 back at full health here. C4, unfortunately, still without their partner. They're going to have to play this one very carefully. With two teams on either side of them, if they make one errant move, it will expose them and end their day. 
expose them, expend them. It would not be good to say the least, but C4 still not finding that moment to strike. We've got a couple solos. No, we've got a team and a solo. I think that was, that is C4 who's now going to be forced to move as the storm closes in. But now we turn our attention to someone we haven't really seen all that often. It's this XD squad. It's like they could be some kind of surprise, but we haven't seen them at the crucial moments until this very point. They are encroaching upon that F7 team, but do they really know what threat lies over there? It's going to be interesting here. We've been talking about XD as, you know, a top contender. They are not necessarily the, to the tippiest of tops here, but I believe they're in fifth or sixth place right now. So this is the team that we're talking about. You could play spoiler. Yeah. This team could play spoiler, especially if F7 is right next to them. But they actually engage first. F7 now going to prep on up here. And this is not great for XD because they are on the edge of the circle. They still need to make some moves to get in. Going to have to move pretty quickly here as well. Especially when shots are ripping off. F7 continuing to pester, continuing to poke and prod. And I don't think, unfortunately, they're going to find enough of an opening. XD will escape. I think they'll be able to avoid the firefight altogether, but did you see that tower in front of them? Um, well, now I can't unsee it. I can't <laughs> stop looking at it. I mean, there's some craziness going on over here. It's going to be Michael taking Whoa. down Gavenchi. That's a big kill. Gavenchi falling. May 7 might just be next. Michael and Graz have proved themselves to be a powerhouse in this whatever the heck this structure is. Whatever this jungle of a gym it is, I have no idea. But Graz and Michael still playing strong, still looking strong. Barely any health loss, just a little bit of shield from Graz as they look on to this 2v1. It could be coming to a close. May 7 trying to hold them off, now building up around the back door. Oh my, oh my, this is getting really intense, especially for Graz and Michael, who, if I'm not mistaken, they're in third place right now. Previous to this was F and O. That was Blara's team earlier before, but they've been eliminated. They're not in this one anymore. And with seven squads left and many of them near that top, it's almost certain third place is now up for grabs. And one of these teams is going to take it. If Michael and Graz can continue to play this aggressive, find a couple more eliminations here, including, I believe, the two they also found on the filling sports employees they're setting themselves up to take some money home yeah. grant yeah you asked for spoiler and these guys could be it but also f7 is lingering around to play spoiler to the spoiler that'd be quite something to witness seven kills their name plus those six like you said i mean that's just incredible but there is still work to be done as now you are faceful and face first with Ooh. f7 they take down Jan Man, that's a big one for you. But you still got one left, I believe. That's Jan Man completely erased. Logic will pick them back up, but that means there's still 1v1s to be had. Logic not quite done, as is May 7. Shots on the edits really helping them out. Logic has not lost any health, and May 7 might meet their match by the end of this. Oh, Logic's not only gonna lose very little health, they were they will gain some back as well. A big shield gonna make them back up to 200, and they're gonna use the Chili Splash just in case. Give them a little extra speed, as they now need to 1v everybody to try and survive. Again, F7, though, they're playing spoiler like we asked them to do so. They have taken out another team that was contending for third, and again, that opportunity has arisen here. This is anybody's ball game going into these last couple circles, Grant. It is going to be very interesting to see how this one shapes up with the spoilers playing spoiler to the spoiler, like whatever the <laughs> heck the case is going on. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing track of everything. We'll have to wait a little bit after this one to see how the points stack up. But here we go. XD, remember that team where it's just like, is this a wild card? Is this someone who takes down F7? Regardless of if they do or not, it's not going to matter too much. Logic is just here for the 1v2. We've asked them to pull off but with a little bit of shield lost and a two on one. Could be a little unlikely, but I love the tunneling that they've done to box themselves in. They've got plenty of chug splashes, plenty of resources. They don't use that last one to restore all of their shield, but they might need to unless they're about to be absolutely Whoa. cracked on the sticks in a second here. Oh, the only thing that Logic can hope for right now is that these guys make enough noise that someone comes into third party because when you're this close to the edge of the circle, you know for certain it's going to attract attention. Oh my, Logic! Oh my. He's going around using the circle to his advantage. They were not expecting the sneak on under. Ooh, and yes. there is why. Logic, peep your head and you will get sent 
sent home. Another elimination for the F7 squad. Logic has four by themselves, and they are hunting for a fifth. Grant, we asked for this team to be aggressive, and they are beyond that. They are just unrelenting. You know, I'll call it for some content. I asked for it, and they are delivering in this last round, but still, I'm not quite satisfied. My appetite is still going strong. I'd love to see somebody take down Logic, but hey, if Logic gets the remaining four players down, that will be the content we've all asked for. for. They'll play it a little bit more passive. Uh -oh. Mace having a very big risk to take on a jump pad. <laughs> You've got 44 health, and they don't even know that Logic is waiting on the other side of that wall and ready to take them down which they will super unfortunate but logic now at five eliminations and three people to go two people to go now one dies to storm uh oh this is getting a bit sketch we've been here before last time logic was in a 1v 1v2 it got a little bit sketchy but there's the team that loves to play in that sketch vibes and iconic still alive and if they win this one it basically secures them second place they've had a heck of a run so far but they need to hold on like we said this is by no stretch of the imagination locked in stone but for immortal he'd love to find a way to retreat Young Vibes will take him out in the high ground now for the final 1v2 of the night. We've seen Logic win these before, but this will be his toughest battle yet. The toughest test, if you will. You got high ground that is lost to you. Metal cones that will keep them standing. They'll drop from the heavens. Now down to the trees. I think it's not going to be Young Vibes that gets to them first. It's Iconics down there. Logic is in a very oh. difficult spot. How do they get up here? I don't even know, but I'm not going to question it. You've got a 1v2 to go on. They've got plenty of chug splashes to their name. We hear some going off in the distance, but that's Iconics. That's the last person you want to have some health for yourself. Logic. Dropping down, landed one shot off the shotgun. Looking to take him down. They'll need a lot of resources to work with, though, Bass. They're trying their best, but unfortunately, they're surrounded from all sides. Wait a minute. That's a down on Iconics. There's a chance they could get in here. Enough chug splashes to get them back up to full health. And I don't know if Young Vibes knows that. 1v1 for the final time tonight. And Logic, he will not shy away from it. Immediately in the face of Young Vibes. Back up to full health. We've got one last battle to determine it all. And Young Vibes wants to play spoiler. He wants to take down the Kings. He wants to show that it's not just the F7s story it's the underdogs as well and he might be able to do it here no he will oh. not logic for the final time tonight takes home another victory royale and does it in 1v2 fashion took down seven people that all had teammates decimated the lobby single handedly I asked for content and we got it, Bass. F7 are your victors by more than a landslide. These guys not only passed 200 points, they were the Ooh. only team to do so, outscoring their opponents by almost double the average at this point. There are what? four teams that ended up passing 100 points in total there it's ridiculous to look at that that is a performance beyond performances that is the performance of a lifetime here and honestly i'm happy because it proves we know what we're talking about as analysts we told you pay attention to f7 going into this one and my oh my did they show up when we asked them to they did more than just show up. They delivered, Bass. They came to our door with a package, said, here you go, and then out popped like one of those gag items where you think it's a can of peanuts, but it just pops out. It was like that. We didn't know what the heck we were in for. We were just like, oh, yeah, F7, F7 you know, I mean, they're favored to win. They were favored to do a lot more than win. And now you will remember the name as we get past this round six and conclude our tournament. Indeed we do. And well, if you haven't heard us yell it enough, I think you can figure it out. F7 are your winners here. Congratulations on taking home the 1K Philly Esports Fortnite Duos Tournament. You guys have secured yourself $600. But now the more spicy part of this. We were talking about it. Second and third were up in the air for so incredibly long. But we have concluded the O'Neillers will take home second place. 
they finish second place there in that final matchup. You have to imagine that they do so. And with 140 points, they absolutely secure it. And while we do have a couple of results trickling in here and there, there's one result that has stood far and away above the rest. Conscious, I believe, will take third place home. Gavenchi and May 7. May might have gone down within those top five squads, but the fact they lasted that long has secured them enough points to take this one home congratulations to our three winners you all played phenomenally and grant what a day of Fortnite! oh man what a day that's that's an understatement or an under phrase it's it you just cannot attest to what we have witnessed here are there words in the dictionary even to what we have seen here i don't even know it was all about feeling though and this is something that you and i won't forget and the folks at home probably won't forget either if you're not aware of the f7 name i mean that's been cemented if you're not aware of the action that happens here at philly esports when they are featuring fortnite well now you better keep your eyes peeled for future events bass i'm gonna I'm throw you the honors uh, to, to end it out send it out because i'm exhausted i don't really blame you it's been six six incredible games and well six go up six go down and only three teams walk away with the money again congratulations to our winners here in f7 o'neillers and conscious you have done fantastically to secure yourself some points secure yourself some monies well speaking of security here we do have to thank the people that make all of this possible here today starting off with america's navy thank you so much for your sponsorship here today and the incredible encouragement you have given here as well as we want to thank the center ring podcast and also dauntless snacks here again exclamation point tcr in the chat exclamation point dauntless to learn more about both of those incredible sponsors and oh my, oh my, Grant, I don't know if there's anybody else really to thank besides you lovely folks as home. We want to thank you guys for tuning in here today. We really do appreciate it. And as well as we also do want to thank the people behind the scenes. Get to, get, oh my gosh. Get to Gitago here behind the Yes, I, eventually I'll get to it. Gitago behind the scenes here is, has been helping us out the entire day. Phantom has been helping out. Jack, Lily, Sam, all of you guys, thank you so, 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 so much for all of your help behind the scenes, even if I stumble over my words because my brain is shutting off. Thank you again to everybody who's tuned in here today. My name is Bash of the Past. Join alongside me, none other than Grant CFO. You can check us out on Twitter. Check us out wherever we might be. And maybe you can check us out back here on the e Philly Esports channel again if more Fortnite action comes around. You'll have to find out, but in order to do so click the follow down below ring that bell and make sure you stay up to date with everything that philly esports is doing but for now that is all thank you again everybody that tuned in here today have a great rest of your saturday we will see you next time